You know, um, <laughs> a lot of this stuff you've got in your cart could kill you. Let's see, balance. That's what I have in my cart. Balance. 17-year-old. That's what I have in my house. A 17-year-old boy. Ah. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, you might be just a little bit light on your ding-dongs. My ding-dongs are fine. Yes, they are. Uh, Adam. Adam Fuller. Adrian Wallace. Why is it that I always seem to get in the line that takes the longest? You know what bugs me the most? The people with those coupons. Um, actually, I, I saved eight bucks last week. Patience can be a virtue. I'm very patient. I'm just double parked. Yeah, well, that's against the law. Arrest me. Okie dokie. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say it can be held against you. <laughs> That'll be forty-two fifty, please. It's nice meeting you, Mr. Fuller. We'll have to meet again here sometime. It was uh, very nice meeting you, Mrs. Wallace. Miss Wallace. That was the question, wasn't it? How many coupons do you have here? No, 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 no. Never mind these coupons. Just total this stuff up for me, huh? Oh, no. No. Oh. Hey, that's my car. <sighs> Need a lift? paper in the front lawn. And that's the fourth house in two weeks vandalized like that, all in the same neighborhood. Aren't there a lot of elderly people living down there, Captain? All the houses damaged so far are owned by people over the age of 70. What do we got here, some kind of new punk sport? Hey, I don't know. Those were found at the Rosenberg house last night. Initial CH. Yeah, Carver High belongs to the metal shop at the school. They code all their equipment. Well, two, maybe three kids were seen running from the Rosenberg house last night. One of them had a letterman's jacket on, so we got to figure that our, our suspects are probably students at Carver. Mac, I need you to check out the neighborhood, you know, see if anybody had a curtain pull. Maybe somebody spotted something, you know? Joey, as for you, I think I need my birthday gift early this year. Excuse me? A toolbox. A nice new metal toolbox. Toolbox? Mm-hmm. Metal shop? Yes, sir. No, don't do this to me. I hate shop classes. I'm no good with my hands. I'm more of a cerebral person. I, I like to brood. I'm good at brooding. You want your uh, initials on that toolbox? That would be very nice. You can find me in home run. Oh, this is a nice suit, Captain. Thank you. 
No, oh, this is really nice. Look, it's 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 wool. Is something on your mind, McCann? No, I just you know I see how careful you're being with this suit here, and I'm thinking you know maybe there's a lady. I'd like her to see that suit while it still looks good. Put that down. Oh, sorry. Um. <clears throat> so, tell me, you know. Where did you meet her? <laughs> Hoffs tell you to busybody me while she was on vacation? No, uh, I just, you know, I figure since we're talking. No, 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 we're, we're not talking. But supermarket. I met her at the supermarket. <laughs> really? Listen to this. One time I was in the laundromat, right, and I met this girl, and I was helping her bring her clothes out to her car, right? She's got one of those cars where the seats go all the way back. But anyway, I found myself sitting in the back seat with the right, kind of kind of straddling the front seat, because when- Mac, not the same situation. You read? Of course not. <laughs> Never is, sir. Mm -mm. She had her car towed. I took her to get it. We had coffee. We're going out tonight. Now, why don't you get out of here before I decide that you should do all of Hoff's paperwork while she's gone? I'm gone. Uh. Captain. Yes, McCann. Have a nice time tonight. Careful with this stuff, man. You probably do. Name's Kyle. Yeah? Well, it was almost lefty. Bob Searle. It's pretty good. Is that yours? How long did that take you? A couple of weeks. That's all? Yeah. I worked on it at home, too. They never give you enough time to do it here. Bobby, what time is it? It's 2.20 already. Oh, and I haven't done jack since yesterday. Charles. Give me your hammer, man. I gotta finish this. Forget you. Come on, man. Let me use it. I left mine at home. That's your problem. Nice guy. So they let you take this stuff home, huh? Don't tell anybody. Just do it. Hey, Charles, I got your hammer. Sam, no. Come on, Charles. You two get over there. Come on. What's going on? Nothing, man. Everything's cool. You all right? Next time, you all get five points shaved off your final. No exceptions. Okay. Let's get back to the I guess the lesson for today is uh, never leave your hammer at home, huh? You don't look old enough to be a policeman. Well, that's why I work undercover, ma'am. I work with teenagers. These kids that hit the Rosenberg house, uh, did you hear anything? I don't hear so well anymore. Well, I know this is a long shot, but did you see anything? I saw those three thugs running away from her house. You saw them. Did you know them? They're the ones that keep coming around pushing us for money. And when they don't get it, they take something else. They're pressuring you for money? The whole neighborhood. They took my wicker chair last week because I didn't give them any cash. Right off that very porch. Well, I hope you reported the chair stolen. I phoned 911. Uh, Mrs. Dixon, 911 is supposed to be used for emergencies only. I am 75 years old. Some punk takes my wicker chair off my porch. That is an emergency. Wait till you get old. I'm sorry. Uh, can you tell me any of their names? 
I don't know any names. Uh, Mrs. Dixon, I'm going to need to talk to you again soon. In the meantime, I have to walk out there and get my morning paper. They'll be back. So will I. I promise. You. Are you a dedicated public servant? Oh, I work hard. I worked hard today. You know, I arrested some riffraff, let some riffraff go, barked at a few people, kept the streets safe. Have you always wanted to be a cop? Well, let's just say that um, I was never really interested in doing anything else. Find anyone better than me. And I'm not trying to. Oh, well, why are you looking all over the room? You've been doing it since we got here. It's a habit. No cop can leave the job at the office. I know the story. Phone calls at night, in the morning, on weekends. My ex, he's a lawyer. Still friends or enemies? A little bit of both. <laughs> he lives in Atlanta now. Calls to talk to Charles. It's never really easy on the kids, is it? I want to warn you that Charles has never taken to anyone that I've gone out with. Oh, well, obviously you're going out with the wrong men. Mm, tonight has been very nice. Nice? What kind of word is nice? I had a terrific time tonight. <laughs> okay, that makes two of us. And it is oh, freezing out here. <laughs> not tonight, Adam. We're not going in? Wait a minute, wait a minute. See, when I say the word freezing, that always works. I mean, I'm usually right in the door. Like one of my smoother moves. See, watch. <sighs> it's freezing out here. You're with me now. You better rethink all your moves. You'll fall. Time to come in, Mother. Charles, this is Adam Fuller. Charles, it's a school night. Well, I guess I should go. Uh-huh. You should. Charles Winston Wallace. It's OK. Good night. Good night. Mac, you're Miss Dixon. She isn't missing a watch, is she? Why? One of the guys in my metal shop had one, old-fashioned. Me, I don't think he got it at the mall. Anything else? Not much. Broke up a fight in class yesterday. Guy with attitude wore Letterman's jacket. What sport? Football. All right, listen, why don't you get a team photo from the school? Show it to you, Mrs. Dixon. Might help her remember someone. I got a conference call, guys. Listen, you two keep me posted, all right? You got it. No problem, Kevin. He had the date last night. Last night, yeah. So, did you think the, the captain got lucky? I don't know. You know, that suit looked like he meant business. No. Sex never happens when you're buffed. It only happens when you least expect it. Yeah, yeah, like somebody else's wedding, right? Right, or, or a law enforcement seminar. Or a laundromat. Exactly. The laundromat? It could happen. Excuse me. I'm looking for Adam Fuller. Right over there. I bet she could tell us about last night. Come in. Hi. 
Hi. So, this is the office. Yeah, this is the office. And this is the phone. And I could have used it, but I wanted to see you. Oh, God, I feel like I'm in high school again. I, I feel so stupid. Hey. I've been thinking about you ever since I left the house. Oh, that's a relief. I want to apologize for Charles' behavior. Hey, 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 that is okay. It was time to leave anyway. How about a fresh start? All right. I hold no grudges. Dinner tonight at my place? Charles, you and me, round two. I'll cook. Ah, no, 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 no. See, I saw what was in your grocery cart. I'll do the cooking. We'll eat healthy. Be a good change for you. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Mrs. Dixon, it's Officer McCann. Dixon? They broke my nerve. Thirty years I had that nerve. This is Dixon. Hey, let me help you up here. Now don't touch me! I'll call the police, I will! It's okay. I am the police, remember? It's okay. They broke my mirror. I might be able to get a clean print off of this. All right? Okay, let me take a look at the arm here. Okay. We're gonna have to have someone look at this, okay? Uh, my, my niece is coming. She'll take me to her doctor. Let's see if we can get you up. Come on. Take it easy, nice and slow. Nice and slow. That's it. That's it. Mrs. Dixon, who did this to you? The same kids? I, I, I couldn't call 911. It happened too fast. I, I was in the kitchen. And it happened so fast. I, it's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Mrs. Dixon, I want you to take a look at this photograph for me. Uh, no more. I'm through here. Let the real estate agents take it. If you recognize one of the kids in these photographs... Here. And then they follow me to my nieces? No. Okay. No, I... I want peace. I want to feel safe again. Please. Please, I, I don't want any more trouble. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you want the truth. It sucks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. What's your project? Making a CD holder for my dad's place in Atlanta. Your dad lives in Atlanta? What do you live with your mom? <laughs> late again. <laughs> Better late than smoking in the boys' room, though, huh, Mr. Coop? Later. Time off to visit your brother. Yeah, I know Hobbs is on leave, but... Hey, no problema. She'll be back. Take your vacation. Thank you, Captain. Right after we wrap this case. Thank you, Captain. <whistles> Captain, wow, is all this stuff for uh, your dinner tonight? Linguini Primavera, and I don't intend to be late for this lady, so fill me in. And did you get a photo for Mrs. Dixon to look at? Uh, Cap, Mrs. Dixon got roughed up last night. Uh, she got a bad gash in her arm. She had some things broken in her house. Was she able to identify the guys? She wouldn't talk. Well, was there anything missing? Any money? She was all shook up, Cap, and she didn't say anything. Hey, one of the guys was flashing a lot of money in shop today. Maybe there's a connection. And the guy he was fighting with yesterday, Charles, they look like buds today. 
As a matter of fact, it looked like old Charles was getting his cut of some deal. Charles? Kid in the Letterman's jacket. Charles Wallace. Are you sure about that name, Wallace? Yeah. Captain, what's going on? Um, I don't know. Maybe nothing. I'll, I'll let you know when I know. Uh, wait a minute, Captain. You know, if this has anything to do with the case, you always tell us to pool our information, so... And when I have some definitive facts, I will. Good enough? Whew, a little edgy today. Wow. Did I say something wrong? I mean... <laughs> yes. But I don't know what. To the chef. Oh, yes. That meal was... Not bad. Not bad? Come on, come on, Charles, you help with the vegetables. You gonna stick up for us or what? I've had worse. Oh, come on, man. It was good. OK. <laughs> May even take some to school for lunch tomorrow. It's better than that mystery meat they served. <laughs> Where do you go? Carver. Starting fullback for the football team. All right. I played a little ball myself, quarterback. Yeah? You and I should maybe go out and throw the ball around some, huh? <laughs> maybe. All right, how about uh, Saturday, Saturday morning? Okay. All right. I guess so. Look, can I go now? You mean you don't want to stay here with Adam and me and watch TV? Something like that. <laughs> All right, take off. Not too late tonight. Okay. Hey, pick you up early Saturday? Yeah. So, when you told Charles not too late, just how late? Is late. 12, 12 30. Ooh, 12, 12 30. Mm. It's been a long time. For me, too. I thought it was going to be Charles and me for a long time. After he graduated college, he had his first baby. Then you showed up. At the dinner table tonight, you felt so right. So why do I feel like we're both out of joint here? I want to blow a good thing. <laughs> good thing. <laughs> you know, when I was a star of my high school football team, I thought life was going to be just one good thing after another. But good things are rare. We are. So how are we going to do this? Huh? With you getting out of bed before my son what, what, gets what? here. Okay, 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 I'm going, I'm going. Uh. Oh. What are you grinning at? Oh, I was just thinking. I would have liked to have seen you way back in high school. That wasn't so long ago. Where's my jacket? Uh, in the front closet. Mm. Would you get me a glass of water? Yes. <sighs> Okay? 
Yeah. It's got blood on it. Uh, yeah, I found it in the bottom here. <sighs> Must have happened after practice. Right. That boy of mine. I've told him about roughhousing. Just put it back in the closet. I'll send it to the cleaners. Doug Williams, get worried. Ow! First down. Field goal position. Oh, man. How about some wind sprints, huh? If you think that us playing ball is going to make it OK for you to see my mom, you're tripping. Yeah, I really like your mom, Charles. Yeah? So's my dad. Hey, listen, I don't want to take your dad's place. Good. Because you can't. got a pretty good team this year? We're OK. You know, I didn't play much ball until my senior year. That's when I got my letter. Got mine last year. Uh, haven't seen you wearing your letterman's jacket. Got one. What? It's not cool to wear one these days, huh? It's cool. Mine's dirty. Dirty? Yeah, what's with all the questions about a stupid jacket? Oh, hey. No big deal. Mom said you were a cop. You doing something here? You checking me out? Oh, hey, I'm not checking anybody out, Charles. Right. I'm ready to go. I thought cops were supposed to be in good shape. There's nothing wrong with my shape. <laughs> I just probably won't be starting for the 49ers next year. No, 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 more, 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 more. Charles gave it to me. Just because. It wasn't even Mother's Day. This is very nice. Looks pretty expensive. Sterling Silver. He's been saving up. Oh, he's got a job? Works around the neighborhood, helps out some of the folks. He must do very well. <laughs> you know, but most kids can't earn this kind of money. We're not talking about most kids. We're talking about my son. Are you on a case? Yes. <laughs> is Charles a suspect? <laughs> Everyone at Charles' school is a suspect. go from here? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't see each other until this is all over. Yeah, maybe that's best. Uh, probably shouldn't say anything to Charles about the investigation either. Keep secrets from my son? You're saying the only thing missing from Mrs. Dixon's house is a locket? Yeah, and he's took an inventory, one sterling silver locket. Oh, man. Lab came through with the fingerprints, smashed out of a juvie arrested last year. It gets better. The juvie's the kid from my metal shop. His name is... Charles Wallace. Is this a good day or what? We have a prime suspect, and I get to go. 
on vacation. Damn. What would we miss? Charles Wallace is Adrian's son. The lady you've been seeing? Andy gave his mom a silver locket this weekend. Ah, uh, ouch. What was I holding back? I found his letterman's jacket in the closet the other night. It had blood on it. He could have got that from, from the fight in Metal Shop. Or from Ralston Grace Dixon's. Uh, he couldn't have done it all by himself, Captain. Uh, what about the other guys he hangs with? We don't, we don't have enough on them, either of them, to do Jack. Listen, they're bound to act again. I want you to stay real close to these guys. Be their shadow. I want them, too. Uh, Captain. Uh, look, there's still one more thing we have to do here. Unless you think we don't have enough on this Wallace kid. Fingerprint, locket, jacket. I think we've got more than enough. You, uh, want me to come along? No. But thanks anyway, Matt. I'm not sure you'd like anybody I was seeing. Well, I definitely don't like this guy. 20 questions, you know? Look, I don't know what's gonna happen with me and Adam down the road. But if we do start seeing each other again, I'd like for you to try to accept it. Are you two chilling because of me? No. Mom, if you want to see the man when the time is right, see the man. Adam, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Adrian, but I'm here in an official capacity. What? Charles, I need you to come with me. I'm not going anywhere with you. You have no choice, Charles. You're under arrest. You can't just take my boy. Leave him alone. Adrian. Listen, get him an attorney, OK? A very good attorney. Charles, your fingerprint was found in Grace Dixon's house. That's because I've been there. I work for her sometimes. You work for her? Mow the lawn. Clean up. Help her out. What happened? She get hurt? Yes. Do you know who hurt her? It wasn't me. That's all I know. Your mother's locket. Mrs. Dixon gave it to me for cleaning out her attic. This isn't about no locket, no fingerprint. I don't like you. And you're afraid I might mess up things between you and my mom. I found your letterman's jacket the other night. It had blood on it. I got it. I got into a fight. Mom doesn't like me to fight, so I hit it. You don't buy any of this, do you? I don't know, Charles. But everything you've said to me will be checked out. Same police work that got you in here can just as easily get you out. Cop talk. Me? I'm holding my breath. Captain, I got some news, which can wait. Ah, she's in your office, Captain. Think we should hold off on that wedding present? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can take him home now. I'm placing him in your custody, but I have to warn you, he may be back.
You know you didn't play fair. You were conducting your own investigation in my house. In my house! Adrian, Charles would have been arrested whether I knew you or not. The hell? Charles is innocent. You never told me about his record. Record? He was upset about the divorce and broke a few windows in the neighborhood. Well, I have to take that stuff into consideration. What about me? What about the kind of woman I am? The kind of son I would raise? Did you take that into consideration? Yes. Adrian, no police officer can ignore the facts. Then you won't ignore the fact that I'm going to get my son. <clears throat> you okay, Captain? I suppose the whole chapel heard us. She did crank up the decibels. Yeah, well, maybe she's right, you know? You know, I get on a case, I want it solved. I want it finished. It... Sometimes I miss things. Captain, I don't think you had any other choice but to arrest her son. You did all you could do at the time. Something tells me times have changed. Bobby and Davey borrowed some tools from class today. I'd say they were a little bit low on funds. We figure they're gonna go out and scare some old people tonight. Investigation's still open, isn't it, Cam? You in? Let's do it. Looks like they're waiting for something, Captain. Yeah, it looks like that something is a someone. Inside or start to do anything to the outside, we move. Let's move. Watch your mouth, old man. Let's give it a look. It's open. Hi. Low. Go. Please, don't you move. All right, get up against the wall. You heard me. Come on, grab some wall. It's OK. It's safe. You're going to be OK now. Your partner, where is he? What partner? Take care of these jerks. I'll get him. Yes, sir. Don't move. Charles. Don't do this, Charles. It's only going to make it worse for you. All right, listen, Charles. I screwed up things. I admit that, huh? I should have told you and your mom the second I knew we were going to be in your school. We make mistakes, Charles, OK? You're young, man. You can write your mistakes. You can get on the right track. Charles? Yeah, well, cops make mistakes too, Charles. I made one. I'm sorry. That make you feel better? Matter of fact. 
I told you I didn't do it. That should have been good enough. I'm sorry it wasn't. I gotta ask you one last thing. When you took money from those guys in class. Bet on the Hollyfield fight. I won. It wasn't some split of any take. You gonna arrest me for betting now? Touche. I got ball practice. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. Hi. I, uh, I wanted to apologize in person. You didn't have to do that. Is my apology gonna hold any weight with you? I know this may not be the time, and I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I want to sit at your table. And I want to sleep in your bed. No, our bed. Settling down with the man who arrested my son didn't seem like the right move. Oh, yeah, well, that's understandable. Good woman, Adrian Wallace. You're a good man. Unfortunately, you're a better cop. Yeah, well, 